Hello everyone, uh, it's been some time since I last did a lesson on me, sorry about that, uh, I think it has been two weeks since I last did a lesson, okay, uh, it won't happen again, I will always do a lesson every week, uh, okay, that's, this was the place that we ended off last time, we, created, we integrated Bootstrap to our e application and we added classes to our grids and our form elements, our buttons, etc. Okay, I, last time I had done a little uh, small mistake, uh, but that mistake was adding a class to a grid view. Uh, I did the, I did that by doing this right here. Create PHP file and HTML options. This is actually wrong. This is not the way you do it when adding a class to a grid. Uh, what you do is items CSS class and after that name of the classes okay. as you can see now only it add the class and now we can add the table striped stripped uh, the bootstrap class I think okay. Uh, okay now that is that okay now for today's lesson uh, this lesson I am going to create a module as you know we should create modules uh, when we are creating a, when we are doing a big application for example inventory management system uh, a payroll management a payroll management system any big system that you are willing, that you are trying to do in me please cut down the project into modules and create them as for example we can create a user module which will on, or which will handle all the users, all the profiles. If it's a payroll management system, then the profiles module will handle all the employee details. All of the details about the employees will be handled with the module, with that module. So modularizing the project is very really important. So this is how. So let's start with uh, creating a module. Of course, first you have to go to our tool the G tool. G is also a module. It is uh, I think the password is demo or oh, is the password Ooh, what is the password Oops, sorry ok here of course there is a module generator and we have to name a module. Let's see Let's see that let's assume that we are creating an inventory management system and we need an items module. So let's do that for item modules consist of the categories, the subcategories, the brands, the item has categories, uh, item has a category, item has a subcategory, item has a brand. So all of those things will go into this module. So I'm not going to create all that, I'm just doing a demonstration of how to create modules in G. Uh, so let's name this item master item master it's preview and this creates three files a module file item master module a default controller and of course a default index so let's generate that ok now uh, now let's check out the files that have been created I'll refresh my project in Eclipse. Refresh, refresh, refresh. Where's the refresh button? Oh, there it is. Okay. Now let's get on to the modules folder in Protected Modules. Modules. Okay, modules. Here's the module folder. And of course, there is the module that we created, Item Master. There's a controller, there's a view, there's an Item Master module. So let's try to navigate to this item master module first of all without doing anything else. Uh, okay, after the R equals item master. And there is error. This is because we have not integrated our module. Uh, for example, uh, in the, uh, we have not included our module in the application. For that, you have to go to the main.php file. Main.php file is of course located in the protected folder, config folder and main.ph file. This is the file over here. So here is the module array. For now, 
I don't know the this. Uh, for now, we have the G module. See the G module we used before. This is the module. We can use this because it, we have been included uh, this in the module area. So we have to add our own module. So our name, what is our name of the module? Item master. Okay, let now let's try to say first now let's try to navigate to the item master model. There you go. Item master default index. This is the recommended uh, for action index and for control item master module. Right. Okay, now we are in the item master module. So we can change some things if you want item master views, we'll change something. Please clear this up and see module created not items module. Items module. Okay. Now this actually this is being handled all of this 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 view was rendered by the default controller. Controllers default control. Yeah, go here. You go. This is the default control. And okay. Now what we have to do is uh, oh, what else can we do? Oh, we can create. Oh, we have to create create another crowd application for the items. Let's let's develop this items module further so let's go to our php and then create a simple items table the demo is our database and let's create another table items table and let's put four columns actually please don't follow this this is not the way to do it uh, and primary auto increment and I name Let's put them decimal uh, ten. Two. The ten comma two stands for this decimal value have the maximum number of values it can have is two uh, ten, and it has two decimal points. So, for example, I will show you. So this is the value that it can have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Dot. This is the next. And this is not the maximum value actually this is the highest uh, digits uh, that you can get from this okay now save it okay we created our items module let's go to our g tool again to create our model g tool let's create our model uh, name of the table is items right yes and model part is item and here we have changed something now the part that this model is going to save is right now is the application models the application the word application stands for the protected folder in the application so when they say application it means the protected folder right here in the application it goes to to the models folder right here that's where the model is normally saves when you create a model in G. Now what we have to do is we want we don't want that we want to create in our modules item master and we want to create a models folder here and put the models that are for this item master module. So to do that let's change this we want modules modules that's where we want our item class to go and let's preview the modules oh wait that's not where we want we we want to go modules item master and then modules preview again there we want there we, that's where we want our model 
that's the unread and let's check again refresh here let's give the module like the master models and here's our class okay. now let's create a clinical card application for this items module items table so go to the card generator and let's items is our model class name preview okay now it says class items does not exist has syntax as all has syntax okay it's not a syntax error it does not exist why okay first of all uh, i'll explain why let's go to our main.php file and take a look at this auto loading model and component classes right now the model that we generated have been has not been auto loaded because it's not in the protected application models which is the protected uh, modules folder no it's not there right now it's in here in the item master module so we have to auto load that as well so it's not that hard application So let's give it a refresh and we'll style items. Hmm. Modules. Desperate it right. Modules. Item master. And models. It has to be correct. I save it. Okay, let's start again. Items. Alright, sorry. Mm, okay, now the card is generated. Uh, there's a small issue with the, it's kind of you cannot feed you can't change the part of path of the card easily i mean the, the card is going to, going to get saved i mean created uh, normally as we know it creates in the uh, the new files are going to be created in the views directory right here not in the modules folder in the views directory right here and the controls are going to go here so the control is going to go here uh, so let's generate here and we'll cut and paste to our module okay let's dive back to the directory our project is saved protected control is we have our items control here we don't want that let's cut it and we want our control to be in the modules directory paste and uh, we want our views well, the views okay these are views cut it uh, and item master paste right let's check it out index and item master and let's say item master item master is the controller name now okay this is the thing item master is the module name then item master is the controller name and we want to go to the create not create actually index index section mm. Ooh, what is wrong item master controller items oh sorry not the control name is not item master the control name is items by right items control so we are in item master module, items controller, and we want to get into the index. No items find, we can't create, let's create. So we can create our items, for example, um, keyboard. Not keyboard is not a good name. I don't know, name of an item, let's say, right? The cost is 60 selling by 100 and we create 
right so we create our own module so it's a separate entity now everything that has to do with items will be in this module so let's say assume that you are creating an inventory management system and you want to create a module items module so uh, then again you move on to another application we are also you need it items module you can get this items module copy it and paste it into a into a new application where yeah, you can use it without anything other things to do of course you have to import the database uh, tables uh, uh, that are included to this void module so i mean that's that for this lesson so now you know how to create modules in g so see you next time stay tuned and please subscribe like my videos uh, that's what makes me keep going so thank you very much see you next time bye